Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly, and this is the Talking Points Memo. This week, Wall Street Journal released a poll that said 25 percent, that's all, 25 percent of the American public supports socialism. No surprise. Do you know any socialists? Anybody on your block, in your neighborhood? <laughs> I don't know any. So then the question becomes, why does the media lionize, word of the day, lionize, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I mean, what, these are socialist people, but the majority of Americans don't want anything to do with that philosophy, so why are they so popular? The answer to that question is, as they say, complicated. Okay. There is no question that the national media leans left. Would everybody agree with that? Any dissenters? That's what I thought. They also despise Donald Trump to the tune of about 85 percent in national media. And they love Barack Obama. With me so far? Any, anybody disagreeing with any of that? OK. Barack Obama wasn't a socialist, but his policies were geared to bigger government control over your life. Obamacare. All right. So he tried to sell it. The president did. So, look, this is not a big deal. You're going to be able to keep your doctor and your and your uh, health insurance and get what you want, what you've always had. Turned out to be false. If you uh, enrolled in the Obamacare programs, government basically told you what you had to do and who could treat you. All right. So Barack Obama wanted government control over the U.S. health system. He wanted it because in that Obamacare hopper where you paid money was a free ticket to about 30 million Americans who didn't have health care for one reason or the other. They couldn't afford it, subsidize it, they didn't make enough money, whatever it may be. So Barack Obama said, look, that's not fair. Everybody should have health care. It's a human right, a constitutional right. All right. It isn't a constitutional right. It might be a human right. It's a debate, but not a constitutional right. So that's where this started, this whole thing. And the national media supported Obamacare big time. So now the national media knows that this is not going to become a socialist country, that the government's not going to take over the private economy. But it wants, the media wants, big government to call the shots on many things. Education. All right entitlements, housing, social justice. And all of the socialistic programs play right into that because the government controls them. So it's not so much the Washington Post, New York Times, NBC News. These people are affluent people. They don't want Bernie Sanders come in and take in their furniture after they die. They don't want that. But what they do want is more federal power given to the government. And they don't want somebody like Donald Trump having the ultimate power, which is why I'm trying to destroy him, send a message to anybody else who might try it. Hey, if you're going to break into our system, we're going to put you in prison. That's what they want to do to Donald Trump is put him in prison. So Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, all the other quasi-democratic socialists are running around. Cortez, um, they basically are spouting gibberish. It's gibberish. The United States economy cannot be run by the federal government. And that's what socialism is. All right, can't. So, but the media won't call them on it because they want bigger government that comes along with the socialist philosophy. Now, on BillOReilly.com uh, this evening, uh, we are uh, looking behind the curtain of Ms. Ocasio-Cortez. Apparently, her main benefactor is a multimillionaire who is treating her very, very well and her boyfriend. A lot of money going in there. A lot of money. So much money. There's been a complaint filed with the Federal Election Commission that says the multimillionaire running Congressman Cortez diverted close to a million dollars to an uh, entity that he should not have because it was campaign money. 
Ah, innocent until proven guilty. That's our philosophy always on BillOReilly.com. We're going to lay it out for you tonight in a very vivid way. Very interesting, isn't it? Congressman Cortez, very interesting. And you think conservatives are behind this? No. Conservatives aren't the ones that are bringing all this out. I'll tell you who it is tonight. And that's a memo. I'm Bill O'Reilly for Newsmax, reminding you that you might want to check out BillOReilly.com premium membership. We have unbelievable stuff almost every night. And my book, Killing the SS, still a bestseller after six months. It's a good book. I think you'll like it. And we'll see you again soon. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.